everyone. John Chow here from johnchow.com. Welcome to Driving with John Chow. In a recent video, I was telling you guys about me taking my, uh, my MacBook to the Apple Store to get it fixed and that uh, I would be using my backup MacBook to, to run my business while that MacBook's in this, getting service. And I got a few comments about that saying that do you seriously like have two computers, you know, with duplicate information on there? And uh, the answer is yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I guess this is what I want to talk about. I want to talk about your backup system and or disaster recovery plan. Like what would happen if something happens to your business, I mean, would you be, would you be wiped out? Like, do you have a backup plan in place? Like, if you're a blogger. What would happen if your blog gets wiped out? Like, it gets attacked by hackers, or something happens to your ISP and the uh, and the computer dies and something, and you don't have a backup. You can't restore. It. What would happen to your blog? Right. So, uh, so it's something to think about, and it's a it's something that. Most people don't think about until it's too late. It's kind of like buying life insurance. You know, you don't think about it until you get into an accident or something. And, so, and unfortunately, same thing. Like most, people, most of us do not think about disaster recovery or backup until a disaster hits. And the best time to prepare is always before it hits. So and I admit that I kind of learned this stuff the hard way. You know, because uh, I was hit by, and it cost and it cost money and stuff, and yeah, but I was able to, I was able to recover from it, but but it honestly, it's way way better to have it in place, in in you know, be prepared. Well, you always better be prepared than to wing it, as they say. Right. So, at the very least, look at your blog. Do you have a backup system for your blog, or you're just just sitting there? All right. So, uh, and the thing is. It doesn't cost that much to have a backup system, you know, just making a copy of it offline somewhere, having, or using a, or in my case, I use a backup service. I use a boat press. 30 bucks a month, real time backup to my blog, every hour on the hour, something happens, I can recover it. And, but then you exp I expand from that. Like someone asked me like, you know, my, my MacBook's like over 4,000 bucks. And it's, so you got, you bought two of them. I go, yeah, I bought two of them, exactly. So, and, it's all relative. All relative. You can see that. Oh yeah, but eight thousand dollars for two MacBooks and one is just as a, just uses a backup only. Sounds like a. It may seem like a waste, but look at this. When you look at it, how much money does my internet business make? It an extra four grand. It's cheap insurance as far as I'm concerned. All right. So it's all relative. Yeah, you may not need that right now, but. If your business is doing 100 grand a month, uh, this is cheap stuff. So, backup computers, backup, backup data, backup everything is backed up. In case something happens, our business keeps going. So, like I said, most of us don't think about it until it happens. I recommend you look at how you're operating right now and ask yourself. Do you have a backup plan? What would happen if something happens to it? And then be proactive. Create a backup plan now so you are prepared in case disaster does happen. All right, that's a, not more of a message. That's kind of more of a reminder than a message. You know, because once in a while, we always have to be reminded that if something does go wrong, you should be prepared. And in my case, something went wrong. My computer would, my computer keyboard stopped working. That computer is not working. I can't operate. Normally, I would not operate, but the back computer came in, saved my butt. John Joe Johnson.com. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, like that message. Share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.